Yeah. And Sonny was a lot older, and I think that was what bothered me the most was that he was so much older, and she was so young. Right. Except that she was always very definite about what she wanted to do and when she was going to do it. Have your ideas changed, though, about relationships and marriages where ages are far apart, Georgia? Georgia? Well, I've mellowed a lot. No, I was trying to think about what you said. I've mellowed a lot. If I was, when she was a kid, I was more fanatical, don't you think, in those days? I yes. was more, you know, You're mellowed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think parents then were all fearful because it was uh, uh, the emergence of the Beatles and, and a lot of wildness and, and the whole youth revolution and no, but no parent knew whither their daughter or whither their son, right? Sonny and I started, I mean, when, when we're they, talking about starting, it was oh, before the Beatles Murph. came out to America. Yeah. When she and first so brought was, Sonny home, I was... My grandmother said, what is that in the living oh. room? <laughs> <laughs> because that was before the Beatles, before anybody. And Sonny had long And he hair. wore Prince Valiant hair, which in those days was, you know, outrageous, mm -hmm. and buckskin pants and squaw boots. <laughs> it was very hip. I thought yeah. it was wonderful. And your mother said, what is that? And then... She said, she said, I said, who is that? And she said, that is who I'm going to marry. Only I guess I must have said it derogatory. Ooh. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> sure enough. Your life has taken interesting turns, hasn't it, George? It's been fun. It really has been fun. Do you have that... a philosophy about life? I mean, live it the way you feel? Well, I, I can't do any otherwise. I really can't. I can't. I know I think, like a lot of times people will say, you know, you're strange, or you're sure unorthodox, or you're, you know, they always expect something different than when they see me. Why are you wearing your glasses? Because I can't see very well. <laughs> oh. They're, they're just light prescription. Oh. Do you want to talk about your personal life? Do you want to talk about it? It would be interesting, yeah. <laughs> and then we'll see, maybe we see the evolution of uh, um, share. I know, I think, like a lot of times people will say, you know, you're strange, or you're sure unorthodox, or you're, you know, they always expect something different than when they see me. Why are you wearing your glasses? Because I can't see very well. <laughs> oh. They're, they're just light prescription. Oh. Do you want to talk about your personal life? Do you want to talk about it? It would be interesting, yeah. <laughs> and then we'll see, maybe we see the evolution of, uh, um, share. Well, what would you like to know? You raised her well. I am very proud. You know, everybody said, you know, like, well, you know, you've been married six times, and my God, you know, the kids and the poor kids and so on. Both of my kids I'm extremely proud of. Right. They neither one ever got into drugs right. of any kind. I think they're both pretty terrific. I mean, she obviously is a very strong, talented lady. Right. And, um, and my sister is stronger. <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> my sister's no. a brick you know what. <laughs> Well, what I was thinking about, and I, a lot of times I've always apologized for them, you know, like I think, well, I have been married a lot, and I haven't led an orthodox life. Uh, what kind of husbands were they? What kind of fathers were they when you would bring them home? I don't ever remember men in our house. The weirdest thing is there were never any men in our house. <laughs> well, Did you no, keep them out in the shed? No, when we lived in Encino. <laughs> I mean, the no, you know what time? When we were little, there weren't husbands Well, you there. know why? Because mm. when they were little, I didn't want to be married. I didn't like the way being married felt. It didn't feel right. My father raised me. My mother was only 13 when I was born, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, I couldn't fit into that passive, quiet role that you're supposed to play, I guess. Cooking, anyway, shopping? Well, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't. I always felt like you had more a fixture or a painting or something. I didn't feel like I was a person. And I remember when they were, let's see, you were about 10 or something, there were things at school where it was the Father's Day thing, and I was thinking, they really should have a father because they don't have a father to go with them on father, you know, when they do the thing with the father and daughter. Yeah. And I remember thinking about getting married, and that's when I married Joe, you know. But that wasn't very long. No, I was only married five months. Do you remember Joe? Of course, Joe was wonderful. Joe was a very nice man. Right. And, uh... Was there one particular I husband think, that was really good? I think, uh, when we lived in Encino, Gilbert. I think Gilbert was yeah. the best father to the children. It sounds very ridiculous. Is Gilbert coming out here? Uh, it sounds very strange, but Gilbert was a wonder, you know, he was very nice. He had two, a good father. He had two daughters that were exactly our age. Mm -hmm. So we got along very well with those two girls, and uh, he was a very helpful friend. He was a very nice person. He was a good father, don't you think? I mean, yeah. I thought he was. It sounds dumb, but I felt better with the kids by myself. I really did. We'll be right back after this word from your local station. Now has uh, taken some interesting turns. Yes, hasn't it has. It? it sure has. That's really nice. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. Uh, you're in a relationship now that's uh, been going on four years. Yes. I saw pictures of you together uh -huh. in uh, yeah. People magazine, I think. Yeah, yeah. And there you were skating down the Venice boardwalk. Yes. That's how she broke her arm. <laughs> Do you know what she said to me on the phone? She called me. I said, honey, I broke my arm in two places. She says, mother, that's fantastic. She said, what other woman, 51 years of age, could say that she broke her arm for the first time roller skating? Yeah, that is <laughs> true. That is wonderful. It shows she's still young and... Uh, you have a shop. Yes, I do. Granny's Cabbage Patch. Where's that? In Brentwood. Right. And Craig Spencer, my young man, runs it for right. me. Right. And what, what does that sell? It's um, uh, antique iron beds. Basically, we, we sell custom comforters. But, you know, the real lacy Victorian beds? Oh, yeah. In fact, she used to have one on her show. Um, real fancy. The real and one pretty. day, a young fellow walked in. Walked through the front door, and I thought that he was interested in George Ann. And I kept trying to put he and George Ann together, because I thought, you know, that's what he was interested in. And it completely surprised me when, <laughs> when it turned out different. I, I called both the kids to tell them, because I was so nervous about it, you know. I accepted it right away. She but did. She just well, said, that's nice. Well, he seems like well, a nice guy. Is he much younger? 21 years. Uh-huh. Yeah, 21 years. We have a taker? We <laughs> or is that my, Craig over there? My, uh, my mother said to my sister, I'm going with Craig. And my sister said, where? Where are you going? Where? <laughs> <laughs> what are your feelings about it? I think it's fantastic. I think it's fantastic for me. I don't know if it would work for everybody, but for me, it's great. Now, the media, you know, is filled with it right now. We, we certainly uh -huh. know the Lily, Lily Tomlin, John Travolta mm -hmm. picture. And uh, all the magazines are carrying stories, television uh -huh. shows, everybody's carrying stories about uh, the younger Older man. Woman, younger, yeah. right. It just, it happened with me. Remember, I didn't plan it. I've never gone with anybody even five years younger than me. It just happened. And when it took place, I thought, well, you know, okay, I always get married every time I get involved with somebody. This time I'll just wait, and if it lasts a week, fine. And when it lasted a month, I thought, well, fine. And then when it went six months, I thought, well, you know, it's going to be a little longer than I thought. And it's been... Almost four years. It'll be uh, four years. The one Please. emotion, George, that you've got to learn to conquer at a certain age would have to be jealousy, because that's what destroys every young relationship and young marriage. I went through the first year was agony, because we have a lot of young, beautiful girls in Brentwood, and they come into our shop an awful lot. And he's real cute. And he's too. real good looking. I don't know if he's here anywhere, but he's, he's very good looking. And I would just go through agony. And then I finally realized one day, hey, he's had all the beautiful girls he's wanted. He used to manage a club in, in uh, Washington, D.C., in Georgetown. He's with me because there's something in me that he feels is right for him. And I'm not a young, beautiful girl, you know? So I, I, it kind of, um, I found some kind of security on the inside of me. And I don't think everything, I don't think roman romance or whatever you call it lasts forever anyway. So I'm just tickled for well, how There I has want. to be a lot more substance to it uh, beyond the, just the romance. Than, yeah, so there's it, the romance. There has to be things to talk about and projects to be interested in. And Yeah, uh, I find that he brings to me the enthusiasm and uh, zest because I'm mostly child you know and he brings that to me and I I don't know how to say it it's like running and frolicking and it has nothing to do with um, like sweetheart it's it, it's different we're like um, like children playing I don't I don't know if that makes any sense but the world is a different place for me now well, that is good yeah I like that even though your arm is broken from running and frolicking <laughs> and and we'd love to see the fella in your life, but he's not allowed to be photographed. Except he's not, he, we're just friends. Gene Simmons, I thought it was a big romance. The, you see, the, the, you, can never, you got suckered in. Yeah, I read that in the big magazine. Yeah, but he's with that group Kiss, and they are not allowed to be seen. Well, no, they... Because they have defects? No, they don't oh. have any defects. It's just their, that's their stage thing. I know, I know. But he and I, we're not, we're all friends. Well, oh, that's not a romance. Well, no, it's just friends. That's it, I guess, huh? <laughs> Well, we'll be back with my friends right after this message. When we were little? Yeah. Oh, yes. I just Well, let's get her to... out here. Yeah. Maybe we can start something. Young lady about to join us is a fine young actress. You knew her as the original Heather Grant on General Hospital. And since that time, she's been in a number of films and many television shows. Would you welcome Cher's little half-sister? Sister, sister. Sister, sister. Uh, Georgian La Pair. Thank you. See, 
collectively, it is the strangest family to look at. None of you look anything like anybody else. No? No. You don't think we look alike? I don't think Elijah Blue doesn't look like anybody. This is true. Elijah Blue doesn't look like you. No, he looks like Gregory, he but he has my top like Gregory. He, he has my top lip, but everything else is Gregory's. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to focus on both of you. Do you look, do people tell you you look alike? Well, they either think we look exactly alike or, or nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Well, I, what's throwing me is the dark hair and the blonde hair. Yeah. If you see them without makeup, without any makeup at all. <laughs> no, no, they look very much If you see them without makeup, you turn to stone. That's right. Do you hang out together or yes. are you when bitter enemies? Oh no. oh, no. Not at all. We're minor. No. I don't know. We get angry with each other. God knows. We yeah. had a huge fight the other day, and she has the worst we did. temper oh, yes, in we the did. world. Now, see, she doesn't not look anymore. like she has any because temper. Blondes look so like they have sweet. no temper, but that's not true. Not and when the temper mean and rears its ugly head, what does she do? Yell and scream at you? Just you wouldn't believe what comes and out of this mouth. And do you show her your gold records? And your <laughs> <laughs> right, I mean, so you that. can't speak to me like that? No, usually I'm, re I'm quiet, and I'm very docile, and then I'll... All of a sudden, she goes too far. You were yelling the other day. Yes, yeah, you went too far. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever hit? Oh, yes. Pull yeah, hair? When I was little, I used to kidding? beat I the hell out of her. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, what she, were you doing, Ma? She was at work. Oh. About it. I was working. That's right. Because I had to clean the house, and I wanted some kind of help from Georgiana, but she I was, was little. little. I couldn't manage, you know, the most meaningless.